Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Edge of Darkness. Welcome back to the Edge. I have reshuffled and refilled the street, and we are about to go into the action phase, which means, for starters, it's time for more cubes in the threat tower. Let's see, five of them are going in. That means, depending on how they shake out, we might have an attack. Let's see what happens. Not quite. Three cubes here, two cubes here, five cubes over there. But I've got to assume this Dark Angel, well, it's interesting now, there's more black cubes than green, so everybody's going to get hit instead of just me. And if everybody gets hit, I don't mind so much, because, hey, neither of us are prepared. I don't have anybody at the Watchtower, and uh, Jen doesn't have any defense set up in her special voiceless d defense area either. But anyway, so the cubes are up. Now I can start doing things. And don't forget, I can also collect a card and upgrade. I'd want to upgrade my one of my citizen, my assistant or my patrician, rather than upgrading Jen's card or this neutral card. So what am I going to do? Well, for starters, I will go on ahead and use this War Council to send my last little agent all the way over here so I can go hunting again. That was, that was definitely worth it. Let's see, and I've got two total strength. Although, I've got this strength from my citizen, and I've get, I can get this straight from Jen's citizen. If I want to use this strength, I have to pay Jen a coin. If I want to use the power of Jen's dispatcher, I've got to pay her a coin. So if I want to use this card, I'm going to have to give up two bucks. But you know what? I have eight. And that's why I had so much money, so I can use Jen's cards without worrying about it too terribly much. So, uh, right. Let's see. Look, first of all, let's just go ahead and use this Patrician, because that's easy peasy. I get one reputation and one favor. Or, uh, you know, I forget exactly. All right, so, so I've got two rep and one favor now. All right, so that patrician is done. Uh, so if I want that combat, I've got the dispatch. Oh, and I've got this patrician over here. Let's go on ahead and do it again. There's another and another. Okay, so we're all set. And, all right, so that patrician, I have used its power and I'm marking it so I don't forget. I haven't used Jen's things yet, but I do plan because I'm ready to hunt, so I want to hunt. And actually, yeah, hunting would be good because I'm most likely to get hit here. I'm more likely to get Jen. If I take this one out, again, I'll clear all those cubes out. Best defense is a good offense. So here's the thing. If I spend a buck, I get Jen's power. But I could go recruit a guy from the forge and add him to my citizen or my patrician. And that could either get me two bucks or one power. So then I'd have two power, or I'd have three if I want to take out the Archfiend, who is worth more points. Hmm. I mean, i got to ask myself, what card am I going to do? Ooh, although you know what? I wouldn't mind getting another landowner. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give myself another landowner, and I'm going to upgrade this citizen. Right out of the way, Patricia, you're done. I'm going to upgrade this citizen. All right, and so I get to use this power to either. Hmm. No, okay, I'm not going to use either power yet. I know what I'm going to do. So I've, I've recruited that citizen. Now I'm going to go hunting again. I'll take these two guys. Hey, I've got some agents back again, and I will go on ahead. I'll, yeah, I'll just go on ahead and use this, and I'll pay a buck to Jen to use her. So that's two total strength I've got for my hunt, which takes out this Dark Agent, which only gives me one point, but more importantly, protects me from being attacked. Although again, this is not the worst because everybody gets attacked there. But you know what? I can see Jen is dropping two black and two green. If both greens drop and they both end up there, I'm the only one who gets hit. So I don't like my chances, so I took that guy out, cleaned the slate, dropped a cube off to the floor. I'll get that later. Hopefully the dogs won't eat it. And a new threat comes out. Ooh, it's this upgraded citizen, which means it's a dark agent backed up by a silent watcher. So this requires three strength to beat, and it's worth two victory points. So you can see, as we upgrade characters, we're also upgrading the Blight. All right, so there we go. So I have done that. And now that my agents are back, now I will use this landowner I just got to deploy a third one. Now. If I had four, I'd increase my hand size to five, but that's not what I'm all about. I am all about um, bringing one of these back because it'll make me money. Because the last thing I haven't done, I'm going to spend one dollar to use Jen's dispatcher. So I had to pay her. This is my six action. And it says, get a buck. So hey, I paid a buck, but I got a buck. So I just basically made my money back. And now I can draw one more card. So I'll have five cards this turn. That means go to the street. Or if I pay to renown, if I had something in my guild hall, I could get it from there. 
for two reputation, but I don't have anything in my guild hall, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to draw one card from the street. And I think I'm going to get this one because it's a big heavy. So, but that means I have to skip this poor sad citizen. So I will skip him. Oh, he's getting more attractive. He'll have so much goodwill if somebody gets him. But anyway, I'll take this goodwill. Yay! And I've got a big level 3 super card. And then everything slides down. A new one comes out. And so now this is all available to me as well. Oh my goodness! Oh! I had one more attack! Oh, I should have done, I've done this out of order. I, had, I could have had two more attack. Because I could have used my blacksmith for attack and that citizen for an attack. And you know what? I could have done that first. The very first thing I did, let's just this around. The first thing I did was I, um, I, I paid a buck, got a buck, got this super card, and then I did everything. And then, I, and then eventually when I had the war member, I had two more attack here, this and this. Instead of making money, I had two more attack them, and I had two more attack, so I could have gotten another kill. Let's say I took out this dark agent as well, because you can take out as many as you can afford. So I took him out. That was another point coming my way. I am the Slayer. Let's see. Oh, I don't think I gave my, myself a point for the other one. No, that's it. I've done three now, right? One, two, three. Yeah. So I took him out, and that means another comes out, and it is just another Dark Agent. No big. So that was a much more effective hunt by um, using the Dispatcher to go get this card, which gave me more military power, so my hunt was more effective. And look at this. This is what I was thinking, folks. Now, um, I've got my uh, Landowner. I'm going to activate him, too. I, I could put another Agent out here and make a buck. Then I'd have a hand of five! Oh, I wasn't thinking about that, but I could have a hand of five. Or instead, I could use this power to recall one of these guys, which is what I'm going to do, and make three more bucks. So I'm rich. I've got 10 gold now. And that was my last action. I've run out of little markers. As you can see, I did 10 actions this turn because of all these extra cards I got to draw. So that was very, very cool. Nice. All righty. That was a big turn. So you can see how things can combo together and you can do all kinds of really cool stuff if you set yourself up well. And see, so this gets discarded. Uh, this and this get discarded. They're all done. And all right. Now, Jen's card does not go to the discard pile. It goes to her guild hall. So, not only did she make two bucks off of me using her card, but I have now fixed it so she will have her card in her hand in the next round. So, I mean, that's, that's a really cool level of interaction between players because often the best card out there is one that doesn't belong to you, but you want to use it. Are you going to pay somebody else to use it, etc., etc.? Because you know you're giving it, because you're not stealing it from them, you're just giving it to them on the next turn. It's very, very cool. But anyway, so that went over there, and I've got to, I've got to build this card. So, once again, sorry, folks, got to put the cami down. Don't know why I just called it a cami. Go figure. All right. And I now have two landowners. I am definitely rocking the farming lifestyle, and that gets discarded. Right. Now, why am I doing that? Why do I want so much money? Because I'm thinking long term, sooner or later, I want to get a grand librarian, which lets me convert money into victory points at a much better return. Normally, um, four bucks is worth one point, but at the very least, it's worth two, or 10 for four, or 15 for six. So, I want to get a big bunch of cash and then hire a librarian and turn it into a big bunch of points. And that's why, I, and in the meantime, I'll still have a bigger hand size. And every time I get a third guy here, I'll just go on ahead and have him harvest to make more money so I can get closer to my big librarian payday. Phew! That was my turn. It was a big successful turn. Now it is Jen's turn. And let's see, I'm not in any danger now. Yeah, even if three cubes fell in any of these spaces, there's not going to be an attack because I pushed it off. And uh, so it's spread around one uh, in each location. Alrighty. And now the, uh, the voiceless will go. First of all, any patricians? Yes, one. So she gets uh, another renown. And another. And by the way, I have a prototype, so some of these I was trying, I was hoping to avoid using them. This this should look like that. So it's basically another thankfulness. All right, so that patrician is done. Done. What else? All righty. So th then we do they have any special cards? They've got the university and the military, which is a she's got a military and a university, so no specials, no money makers. Yeah, the money makers in this game are the city streets. You can see these icons up here. The city streets, the forge, 
the mill house. So she doesn't have any of those, so she doesn't make any money. She does have a professor. So she takes, um, instead of like a normal player, putting it over here on the university, she just deploys it over here. When this comes off, she'll recruit again. So that was using the professor. Then she's got, uh, she has no allegiance, she has no defense, but she does have offense. So in fact, she has one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, oh, no, no, no. Sorry. These, do these get, oh, I, I've forgotten now. Shoot. Hold on a second. Let me double check this. Uh, I, when you go to a hunt. Oh, whoops. No, I misspoke earlier. These are only, so yeah, I misspoke when I said that they storm up. They don't storm up. Uh, these just basically get ignored. It's these one that let them store up. So again, folks, Watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on. She did not store all of this power. This is the first time she started to build up a hunting chief because she had that. Because what, what did she do in the first round? I've totally forgotten what she did. Um, no, I, let's say she did another one. So, because the more of these she stores up, the more they're worth. One is worth one attack power. Three, uh, two is three. Three is five. Four is seven. So these are additional ones. If she goes hunting, these get used instantly like you saw me doing them, but they don't add up over here. It's the, the special cards, like this militia chief. Me, if I had this, I would be able to deploy and start building a militia over here in the deep hollow, but instead, she just starts building her own personal militia right there. And yeah, sorry about I got that wrong in the, in the intro. Again, Klingon subtitles are your friends. So anyway, she has no hunting cards, so she has used all of her cards to her best effect. She had no use for these citizens right now. She used that and that and the patrician. All right. So she is done. Oh, what? Wait. No, she's not done because before she did the professor, before she did the militia, she always gets a new card and she wants a money-making card. She starts up here. Is this money? No. Is this money? Yes. She took a dispatcher and installed it on her citizen. This is her only one that belongs to her, so she'll install it. So Jen had a dispatcher, which means, hey, it was a money, so she gets two bucks. Oh, 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 well, this is interesting, actually. It's a dispatcher. So the first thing she did was she got this, and the dispatcher is a money maker, and it's a miscellaneous. So the first, before she gets her money, she had the dispatcher, she gets another card, which means she wants her, she always takes her own card as she can. So she'll skip, and she'll skip, and she'll take this. All right, so she had another card of her own. So, um, but it's a patrician. The, um, the new patricians that come out don't help. So she got this, which means she can upgrade it. But anyway, but she, she uses her patricians, which is like step zero. Then she goes there. So she doesn't get anything more out of that. But then she does get money off of this. And even though it says one, she always follows the effect here. So she gets two because it says no matter what the money card is, she gets two bucks. So she's making more money, which is worth points. Then... She did her professor, then she did the militia, and now she's done. So we've got to go on ahead and sleeve her card. So now this citizen is a dispatcher and a professor. So regular Paul Revere, this guy. All righty. So that was that. Jen, uh, and so, yeah, everything gets discarded. Okay. Yeah, because none of them were mine. If any of these were mine, they'd get discarded into my guild, but instead they all get discarded there. And uh, she is done. We're now moving on to round three. And it is time for assembly. So I don't have anything in my guild hall. I do have these. Jen does have something that I gave her. So she gets that plus these. And let's see. Oh, it's the third round. So she is first. Let's see what her card is going to tell her to do this time. She gets another renown. All righty. She is building up that renown. And now, and she's going to try and get a defense card in the second half. But now she is going to go on ahead and start drafting because she needs two more cards. And, oh, oh, by the way, this slid over, slid over, slid over. Oh, and I got a shuffle. Sorry, folks, putting the camera back down again. The joys of filming a deck builder. Ah, all right. Let's shuffle this up a little bit. And as you can see, I mean, the cards are translucent. They're two-sided. So what the rules suggest you do is when you're shuffling, just do it under the table so that you can't shuffle in and, oh, what do you know? The perfect card for me ended up on the top or whatever. So um, yeah, just don't look at them when you're shuffling or shuffle under the table. All right, that'll do, that'll do. All right, so boom. Okay, so now she needs to draft two more cards and hey, here's a citizen for her. Um, and there's another citizen way over here but that would be way too expensive. So she just wants this one. So, but remember, she doesn't skip if she doesn't have to. 
So she'll go on ahead and take this one and get all of this love. And she's got so much love now, she can convert it. One, two, three, four. She can convert it into a 4B. All righty, because she's uh, earned so much of it. And she took this guy. And now she has one more. She will skip this guy. Oh, he's so sad to get one of her own. All right, so there she goes. And then everything slides down. And uh, hey, there's my farmer again. All righty, I want some more farming. And right, so she is done. It is now my turn. And I am going to draft four cards because I'm a master farmer. And yo, know, I'll take this guy. Hey, it's the prison warden again. He is so happy. Nobody likes the prison warden. Go figure. Uh, but I like your prison warden, and he appreciates me so much. He gives me a half a point. All right, and I'll make good use of you. And I get three more cards. I definitely want this. Do I skip? If I yeah, I'll I'll go on ahead and pay one renown to skip this guy to get my own farmer. And now this guy is skipped, so I can take Jen's. Or do I skip her? I'll skip Jen's patrician to get my citizen, and I get a fourth. I'll take Jen's Super Dispatcher Professor. Boom! I'm going to have another huge turn. Although I am going to have to pay Jen, but it's okay. I got plenty of money to pay Jen to use her Dispatcher, her Professor, and her Citizen. Wow! Okay. So that's going to be a big turn for me once again, folks. And we refill the street. Okay. And here's my big blacksmith landowner Citizen. And now we go on to the phase. Let's see. We might have an attack this time. We've got four. If three of them end up over here or four over here, we'll have an attack. But they all end up over there, so no attack still. All right. And now, first of all, she's going to try and get a defense card. Starts here and looks for defense. There's only one defense, so she's getting a watchtower, which she'll take a middle. You, you don't have to go for the one that's on top. You can dig until you find what you want. She wants a middle one to upgrade her citizen, because she doesn't want to upgrade a nobody. She wants to upgrade one of her own guild. So she just got a watchtower. All righty. And now she starts evaluating. See, no, does she have any patricians? No, so she does no patricians. Does she have any money makers? Um, yes, that's one money maker. And. Wait, oh, no, no, not money makers. Does she have any specials? The librarian is a special. So, and the chancellor is no, he's an allegiance. The professor is not. The dispatcher is a special. So she has two specials, which means she gets two more cards. Um, Right. And she only has one of her own out there, so she'll end up taking this and get some more love and some more love. So much love from these people. And she'll go on ahead and get these. Okay. So there she goes. But unfortunately, she just got a patrician, but the patricians happened before this, so she won't get to use the patrician. But she did two specials. That let her draw two more cards. Now, does she have money? Dispatcher is money, and that's the only one. So Jen just makes two. Two more bucks. Then, all right, she so moves on. Does she have any recruiters? Yes, she does. All right, so that's, uh, the dispatcher is done. The professor, uh, this guy comes back and Jen recruits again because of the professor. Then, does she have any allegiance? Yes, she does. And so she sends one of these guys over here to the allegiance. Then when she does allegiance again, she'll pull this back and she would have claimed this citizen. She have two citizens she could recruit. She'll take the one that's worth more. She always will. So anyway, so she's getting ready to get another allegiance going. Does she have any defenders? No. In fact, yeah, all she's got left, right, well, she, uh, the librarian was a special. So she had done that right away. So the two specials, and right, and so she's got those. She doesn't build those up. I think I was wrong about that. Uh, she hasn't. She doesn't build up her militia. She doesn't attack. Most of remember, I said this is A's and B's. When you get into the B's, which we're about to get into, it's much more likely. There's a money one. There's an attack. There's a build up your strength. There's another attack. There, right. So. The, the Voiceless doesn't bother attacking all the little schlubs like what you've been seeing me doing. In the second half of the game, once she's had a chance to build up a big, strong militia, she starts going and trying to take out the big threats. You know, because over time, these threats get bigger just like our characters get bigger. So she's done. That was it. And once again, she didn't take any of my cards uh, because I didn't leave any for her. You know, that's the thing, too. There is a strategy to be said for don't take all of your cards. Leave some of your cards out there so your opponents will take them, use them, pay you, and then give you the card. But I've been gobbling my cards up so fast that I have not given her a chance to get the cards. But anyway, so all of these get discarded. And by the way, this should have slid over. All right, there we go. 
And once again, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to build that to discard it, but worry about that in a second. No, actually, no, that was the end of the round, right? Yeah. So got to do it. Put it down and it goes. All right. So Jen's got a super character just like me. That'll be useful later. Although, you know, that's an attractive character for me too. If I want to spend one, two, three bucks to use all those powers. So that was her turn. She is done. We are on to round four and I am now the first player and we see what she's going to be up to this round. All right. She gets another renown. She just builds this stuff up like crazy because she needs it because she's pretty um, indiscriminate about how she skips. So she's just always building up renown so that she can make big jumps. But hey, when she does it, that just leaves me the goodwill tokens that I can pick up. By, anyway. Oh, whoops. Oh, wait. I already did all my stuff, didn't I? No, I haven't. Have I? No, I haven't. I'm sorry. I've jumped ahead. Wait, wait. We were, we were just on round three. Yeah, she was first. Okay, she hasn't done this yet. She hasn't done that. She hasn't done that. Anyway, so it was my turn. Sorry, folks. Let's see if there's an attack. No, there's still not. Five and five and five. But you know what? Let's just say... Let's try this again. Let's get an attack. You guys want to see an attack. It's really simple. Hey, look, there's an attack. Okay, that's how it worked out. There's... What do we got here? One purple, two green, four black. That means the black wins. Everybody gets hit. Okay, so this Dark Agent is trying to hit us for three. We need to have defense of three. Now, um, I don't have any defense because I don't have... Remember, I did put a person on the watchtower, but then I moved them off. So I'm going to get hit. Whenever you get hit, doesn't matter how hard you're hit, you drop one on this defense track. The first time you drop, it's no big deal. You still stay at 16 points. But then you go to 15, 14, 13, uh, you know, 12, 10, 8, 6. So uh, the more you get hit, the, it can really start to hurt you bad. So it is good to invest in defense as the bad guys get stronger over the course of the game. Now, she, if she had this over here, if she built her defenses, she would pay this right now to avoid the three damage and not take any, but she didn't, so she will also take one. Now, whoever has the, whoever is the highest on this track at the end of the game scores two bonus points. So even, um, I mean, you really want to try to avoid that, so defense is important. But anyway, so um, we've cleared that out. And this guy, oops, I knocked everybody down, comes back over here, is discarded. Oh, by the way, I just noticed this dark agent, this is kind of a bummer for Jen. This is actually one of her cards. You can see it's purple. Jen wants this thing killed as soon as possible because as long as it's up here on the threat tower, it's a card she's not able to upgrade. So um, as a human player, Jen would probably have a vested interest in taking that thing out. And anyway, so there's a new bad guy in town and it's another agent. Okay, and now we've got to fill up again, which means we have to reshuffle, which I haven't done yet. Um, I'll just pretend I shuffled. Okay, but anyway, so that all triggered, and now it's my turn. I've got a whole bunch of stuff I can do here, but I'm going to have to pay Jen to do some of it. I could go hunting to do some things. No, I can't because I don't have anybody on the War Council. I do have the Prison Warden, which would let me move one person over to the War Council, but I couldn't get another one. But hey, I could draw a card. Yes, I could. Let's go on ahead and pay Jen one buck to use Jen's Dispatcher, which gives me a buck, and allows me to get a card, I'll get my card in the first slot, which is a War Council. Hey, I'll use this War Council, and I, I don't have, if I had two influence, I could send two guys, but I don't. So I'm only gonna send one guy, but that's okay, because now I'm gonna pay Jen another buck. No, 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 this is a neutral. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Prison Warden to move a guy from over here to over here. So I've given up my hand size, but now I'm going to have another chance to hunt. All right, so I did that prison warden. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave that here. Instead, I'm just going to take one of my temporary guys and I'll put him laying down because I'm going to hunt with him anyway. So I use the prison warden to deploy some prison labor. I've used Jen's dispatcher. Hey, let's go on ahead and use, uh, I'll pay Jen another buck to use her professor so that I can start um, I've got a guy over here and see, and it says, put a guy out and or pay four bucks to train. Um, so putting this guy out here lessens the cost to train. Instead of paying four, since I've got a guy here, it only costs me three to train an agent. And now as long as I keep this guy here, I can train agents more cheaply. She just trains agents by putting them here and there, but I have to pay for it. So anyway, so I've used that now. All righty. And... Uh, I will go ahead and use my landowner to put a third guy out here so that I can harvest later while still keeping my hand size up. And hey, here's my landowner. I'll use this guy to pull him right back off. 
and that gets me three more bucks. So I'm in the money. And now all I've got left is two attack. No, one, two, three attack. I'll go on ahead and start up the war council to take out this archfiend. Which means another guy has to come out. And oh, look at this. It's a super powerful one. Oh. All right. It's Jen's big card that she would have, she'd rather not be there. So she wants this thing dead or attacking us as soon as possible. So because as soon as this goes, it doesn't go to the discard pile. It goes directly to Guildhall. So as soon as this thing is taken out, Jen gets access to that power. So she might go why trace it herself. Anyway, so I've killed this. That gave me two more points. This guy gets discarded. So I'm just scoring lots of points by hunting. Um, but, but I'm still slowly building up money so that eventually I can turn it into points too. That's my whole strategy this game. Leveraging the farmers, my bigger hand size. I've now got some more agents. Uh, all right, so I used the three combat plus the war council. That was it for me. A very good turn. Oh, and you know what? You know what? I haven't chosen a card yet. What do I want to do? What did I want to get? You know what? I'll go on ahead and get a university professor myself. I will have, uh, this is a very learned landowner, because he's also a professor. And because I've got this, I get to use this right now. So I'll put one of these new guys I just got uh, here. And I will now spend only two bucks to train another agent. So that was pretty nice. So now I'm training agents cheap. I am got my bigger hand size. I need to get a war council going again so I can go hunting again. But that was it. And now, uh, you know, these all get put together. And this, though, this is Jen's. It goes to her. I've just given her all that power, and I had to pay her to use hers. These all get discarded. Um, you know, we reshuffle. We move on to round four, etc. Et where I will be the first player. That's when she says, "Hey, what did I? What am I going to do in this time?" Oh, I get some more renown. And then um, I let's see. Everything comes over, and hey, I've got my citizen there. So I'll probably grab that. But see, that's the thing. If I leave this citizen, Jen will probably take it. And then that means I'll get paid one, two, three bucks. And then I'll be able to use it on the following turn. So don't grab it right away. Because there's other good things I could grab, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But folks, that is where I'm going to stop. Oops, sorry. Uh, but zoom in. I always forget I'm zoomed in. Uh, but anyway, that's Edge of Darkness. If you want to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.